We're almost in December, so I wanted to do the end of the year book tag. I've seen a bunch of YouTubers do this so far and I forget where the original comes from. So I'll link that in the description so you can find the original. First question is, are there any books you started this year that you still need to finish? The answer for me is a big yes. <laughs> still need to finish Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I didn't put it down because I didn't like it. It just wasn't the right time for me. I was reading this near the end of my senior year of college, which was not the best time for me to be focusing on a really long book. So I'm hoping to come back to it with fresh eyes and uh, you know, ready for, for a long book like this. Uh, I very much want to enjoy the rest of it. Forcing myself to do that wasn't really going to work. I also need to finish None of the Above by Travis Alabanza. I started this, I believe, in October, uh, and I've just been reading one chapter at a time, sort of slowly. It's an awesome book, and I'm loving it so far, but it's just not the type of book that I sit down and plow through. I'm really kind of taking my time with it, so I still need to finish this one. The next one is Warriors Into the Wild. Uh, this is my fourth reading of Warriors Into the Wild, and uh, I'm taking my time with this one as well because I'm taking notes on every chapter so I can make a very in-depth deep dive. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'll finish this by the end of the year, but there's a good reason for that. So hopefully uh, it'll be worth it in the end. <laughs> I'm also listening to He, She, They by Skylar Baylor. This is an awesome book about all things transgender and pronouns. I'm loving it so far. It's just a matter of, you know, getting audiobook time in. Last but not least, my current read, uh, The Empress of Salt and Fortune. This one I I expect I'm gonna finish it in the next two days. This is such a short book. Absolutely loving it so far. It's very poetic. It almost reads like a Chinese classic, which is something that I was not expecting from a book published in 2020. Uh, the way that it captures that atmosphere is so, so cool. Next question, is there an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Not really for me. I kind of missed out on the autumnal vibes because I've been reading slowly. And by, by the time that I finish the books I'm currently reading, it's already gonna be winter and I'm kind of in that winter mindset. So I don't really have an autumnal one that I'm, that I'm using to transition this year. Is there a new release that you're still waiting for? Book-wise, no, but I am really, really excited uh, for the Percy Jackson TV show to come out. Uh, that's been on my radar for a while, and I finally read the books last year. I didn't read them as a kid. I think I would have loved them even more if I read them as a kid, but I did really like them, and I'm so excited to see an adaptation that's actually kids playing the kids. <laughs> so that, that'll be really cool. I, I'm very much looking forward to that. Question three, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? For me, those would be System Collapse, by Martha Wells, Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee, and The Story of Hong Gil Dong, which is a Korean classic. I'm on a short book kick recently, and these three are pretty slim, uh, and I have confidence I can get through them before the end of the year. I've really been getting back into my interest of birds recently. So the concept of Untethered Sky is really interesting to me. And as I've seen more book reviews online about it, uh, the more I think my expectations are set properly for it. So I'm really looking forward to this one and it'll be my first exposure to Fonda Lee as well. Now, I really wanna read the story of Hong Gil Dong because I started learning more about Korean culture the past few years in school. Um, I studied international relations with a concentration in Asia. So I took one class about Korean history and. I just am so fascinated and, and want to learn more. Uh, so seeing classics from, from different countries and places that I want to learn more about is so fun for me. And this is a new translation of it. I'm interested to see what the introduction to this is as well, to, to see how they translated it, what might be different from previous translations. Even though I'm not familiar with them, I still think that'll be really interesting to see. It says it's a fantastic story of adventure and has been adapted into countless movies, television shows, novels, and comics in Korea. So I think it'd be fun to like read this and then watch one of the movies or, or something like that. And System collapse. I have read all the Murderbot books so far, and this was my most anticipated release of the year. I'm so happy to have it in my hands. Uh, it's I've missed Murderbot a lot. It's also one of the only book series that I'm like actually caught up on. And now that this one's out, I'm not caught up anymore. So I really want to get this one under my belt so that I can be back to, to you know, awaiting the next release. Murderbot is one of those book series that feels like home to me. It's one of the first book series that I read as an adult uh, when I've been back into reading and it just holds a really special place in my heart. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite of the year? I think again, that would be System Collapse just because I love this series so much. Uh, it seems realistic to assume that it might be my favorite of the year. Obviously, we'll see how it goes. Every entry into a book series is different and Murderbot has had its stronger ones and its weaker ones, so we'll see. Have you already started making reading plans for 2024? Yes and no. Uh, I haven't made any concrete plans, but something I know that I wanna do next year uh, is to finish more of the series that I've already started. <laughs> I think right now I'm reading seven different series and I'd really like to close out a few of those uh, so, so that I can, I can focus more on each individual series as I read it rather than having 
all of them going at once. Uh, it feels like I'm juggling too much and, and I wanna finish some more of those. That's all I have so far for reading plans for 2024. I mentioned wanting to read more short books by the end of the year. Uh, so if you're interested in that too and you want some short book recommendations, check out this video right here where I talk about seven of my favorites. Okay, that's all. See ya.